My name is Jordi Riva. I'm a psychopharmacologist and neuroscientist based in, in Barcelona. I do research on psychoactives and uh, I've been studying ayahuasca for around 20 years now. Ayahuasca is a, is a complex uh, substance, a psychedelic ancient medicine used in the Amazon and uh, we were interested in seeing whether it could have some properties that could be uh, used for uh, therapeutic purposes. So after many years studying mechanism of action of ayahuasca, we've seen that it's able to modulate uh, areas in the brain that are involved in the processing of emotional memories. And uh, we've recently conducted a study showing that it can induce very uh, rapid improvements in depressive symptoms in patients that do not respond to usual medications. More recently, we have uh, conducted uh, in vitro experiments with the active principles present in ayahuasca. And we've seen that they stimulate the growth of new neurons in the mammalian brain. We think that it allows uh, an emotional reprocessing that could be useful, for instance, in the treatment of addiction and in certain personality disorders. And this is what our future studies will uh, try to uh, assess. I think we owe to the original inhabitants of the Amazon this knowledge that has been passed on us. Uh, for many years, the use of psychoactive was frowned upon in Europe and in North America. But uh, if they had been using ayahuasca, in this case, uh, for many centuries, there had to be some, some uh, good reason for it. Ayahuasca is being used to facilitate introspection, self-knowledge, so it's a different approach. It's not based on religion. It's probably not anymore a rite of passage. But I think that every human group that interacts with ayahuasca rediscovers it and uh, incorporates it into its own cultural framework. It's an uh, unavoidable marriage, this uh, traditional knowledge and the modern tools we have to approach. When I started my, my research 20 years ago, uh, there was uh, indifference, if not uh, some over negative reactions to this kind of research. But uh, in the last four or five years, I think it has completely changed. They've seen that uh, we can do good science and uh, we, can, we are able to demonstrate that the substances uh, actually modulate the dynamics of the human brain and that they show promise. So now what I'm, the feedback I'm getting is, uh, is very positive. So I get more and more health uh, professionals approaching me and saying that they would like to, to participate in, in studies. Our society is uh, becoming more open to what these substances uh, might offer and uh, this, the original stigma that uh, we were living with in the past uh, decades uh, is gradually disappearing and it's being, uh, it's being substituted for uh, evidence-based uh, data. The society at large, if you can show them uh, in a, an understandable and, uh, manner and uh, following uh, adequate met methodology, that the substances in certain uh, specific cases could be used as medicines, they will be uh, ready to, to try this and uh, accept it in the end. I'm Dr. Daniel Perkins. I'm from the University of Melbourne. Um, Australia. The study we're doing is looking at, it's a global survey of ayahuasca use, 